Alright, here's going to be a quick tutorial on how to do your RC, um, which is going to be your receiver type, as well as some of your channel mapping. So for our purposes, we're actually using the Futaba, and we're actually going to run it through the S bus. So you're going to take the plug in the Futaba receiver, it's going to connect to the S bus on the Futaba receiver, and it's going to go into X2 on your A2. So then we're going to go to our screen, we're going to click basic and RC. We're going to make sure that we have D-Bus selected. Now D-Bus works for both um, the D-Bus adapter which will allow you to use other radios such as the DX8 and so forth or even your S-Bus. So we currently have D-Bus selected and as you can see on the bottom right it shows like six boxes and there's like a cross going across it. It, and basically this is your channel mapping so um, as you can see if you click it you're gonna it's gonna bring up your basic channel so A E T R U these are all actually uh, selected when you turn on your radio you're gonna see that the channels will open up so as you can see the channels start opening up you can you can adjust the throttle however you want to do it and you can see everything's moving you want to make sure that everything is done properly so you'll click map and you'll make sure that channel 1 A E T R they're all um, they're all set accordingly so for example if I move the throttle T moves so if I go all the way up T goes all the way to the right if I go all the way down it goes to the left same thing if I go to the rudder if I go to the right, it goes to the right. If I go to the left, it goes to the left. Elevation, if I go up, it goes to the right. If I go down, it goes to the left. Aileron, if I go right, it goes to the right. If it goes left, it goes left. Um, so if for any reason it's in a reverse direction, um, you can always click reverse if it's doing the wrong control. So for example, if I move this, the A, to the left, and it's let's say it's E, you can adjust that by clicking map and adjusting it right here so you can click it and you you can select the correct channel um, that's actually moving. Um, when you're done with that you want to make sure you run the calibration process so you'll click start you're going to click OK and basically you're going to move all sticks to every corner then it's going to show finish and you just click finish when you're ready and it calibrates your sticks um, and then you also have other stuff such as right here you have the channel 7 you have the IOC the IOC is very important um, if you want to use it so on this one we currently have it on channel 6 which is controlled by this switch at the top left and again you can you can select however you want to do it by clicking the channel map mapping and select whatever channel you want it on and this is how you set up your channel mapping as well as your receiver type.